So to make this pumpkin, I'm gonna use my Centro Machine 48 needles and that's because of the size of the glass. I'm gonna be using around this yarn here, which is a 8 ply. It's actually a DK yarn. It's a little more thick, but because it's silky, like the name silk, uh, it's a bit, it's uh, soft on the machine, so it goes, actually goes really well on the machine, because I did try it before. And I'll be using this yarn here, from Circulo as well. Only a few grams, probably half of it, just to make the lid of this. Uh, it's like a bonbonniere. It's like to you can use to put to either put bonbons in it, or you can add a light inside. And I'm gonna show you when I finish this. You can add a light inside, make it like a lamp as well. So. Um, whatever you think is cool. I think it's a really cool idea. I had this idea the other day when I was browsing through uh, Pinterest photos and I saw this bonbonniere made out of crochet. But the thing with the crochet is because the crochet is kind of more thick, so it, it had uh, support from the stitch because it was a really thick, uh, really thick yarn. I'm gonna share the photo here so you guys see the where I took this idea from and because I thought that um, a knitted tube wouldn't wouldn't hold the shape then I thought I could add the glass inside and I think it's gonna work well yes yeah, so yesterday I did try because uh, I didn't know how many rows I would have to use for this glass and to make the lid, because it, this one didn't come with a lid, I use just cardboard because I'm gonna I'm gonna put the wrap around with a tube at the end as well. Okay, so this is all you need. You, uh, you probably need glue, and I got silicone glue. It's a glue that um, that's good for most of the things, like metal, glass, wood, and so it's good for everything. So I'm gonna use this uh, silicone glue here. And then your darning needle and uh, something to cut, okay? The colors I have, I got this green here and I got a darker green as well. I think I'm gonna be using the darker green just because it's a very bright orange already. It looks more bright than on the image. So I'm gonna start making the tube for the for that's gonna I'm gonna wrap around the glass first, and then I'm going to make the lid after that. We are also gonna need stuffing to stuff it later and give it the shape of the pumpkin. Okay, so um, this is all you need to make the, um, this pumpkin knitted on a, your center machine. So let's start with, the, um, with this first tube first. So we're just gonna cast on the stitches, work on the tube mode because we're making a tube and just cast on these stitches. And because we are going to cinch it at the end, we are uh, we don't really need waste yarn, okay? And then I'll be making 60 rows on the tube mode. And then after that, I'm going to just remove this and then we're going to make the lid after this, okay? Now make sure this fits, so you can put the ball inside and see if you have enough rows as well. Okay, so I made 54 at the end and now I'm going to just remove with the waste yarn. And then now we can make the lid 
If you want to make sure that fits, you can put the around the ball just to make sure it fits. And if it doesn't, just repeat the same thing and make a few more rows. That's what I did as well. And now with this color, I'm going to make half of the rows, around 22. Okay, and that's going to be for the lid of our ball. Cut a little tail and then we're going to remove the stitches with the same yarn, okay? I already made a row without the yarn and then I'm going to remove all this with the same color yarn because we're going to cinch both sides, okay? To make our lid. I made 22 rows with this color, but again, depending on the size of your bow, you, you need to try and see what works for you. I had to test before I made this tutorial, so you might have to test as well, because depending on the weight of your yarn and everything, it could be different, okay? And then with the lighter green that I had, I'm going to make a stem with a different color. I'm going to cast on five stitches only, so cast on the same way you always do. Only five stitches, so one, two, three, four, five put through the hook and I'm gonna make an eye cord like that. If you have an eye cord maker, you can use your eye cord maker as well. I'm making a panel with five stitches in this case. If you don't know how to make a panel, make sure you go to my website. I have a two hours panel course where you can learn panel as well. If you find it hard to use panels. So this is gonna be my stem. I think this is enough, so I'm just gonna cast off the stitches with this same yarn as well. And just cast off that five stitches. Might be a little too long. I made two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve rows, so maybe around ten rows. And this can stay on the bottom like this. So this is gonna be my stem. If you want to put something hard inside, you probably could as well, and just make the um, and the, just stitch uh, seam the back as well with this same needle. You can probably seam it quite easy. Let's go through the stitches just like this. I'm just gonna sit on the bottom like this. I'm just gonna seam it all the way up, all the way to the top here, and then just make a knot with these two at the end. And uh, you can probably use them to make a knot. So I place one there and then I count two, four, six, and then I'm gonna place another one here. Just before I cinch it so it's easier. And this is gonna be on the bottom, so I'm gonna put these tails inside later on. And I'm gonna repeat that in every single marker around my pumpkin. Just go each two like this, two and two. And just leave it loose at the end. Because um, we're gonna tie them off after we cinch the top. And then Repeat around the entire piece and every single one of them here. And then we 
we put we we'll put this inside the ball and cinch the bottom. Now um, you can probably hide these tails if you want. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about that much because it's gonna they're gonna be all inside anyway. So just cinch it. Okay, so now that we cinched and it's everything inside here, we can just make a few knots to close this work. And hide this tail as well. As you can see, this is like a beanie. Now on this side here, I made a little mistake. It actually needs to be cinched as well because I made crochet all around it and after I made the crochet the, um, the tube wouldn't fit inside the ball, okay? So can't really make crochet around it, good to know anyway, but yeah, no crochet. So we're gonna cinch it, so I'm just sliding this needle through all the stitches to then remove that waste yarn that we didn't really need to do, to start with. So when you when you do when you make yours, make sure you just um, use the same tail. Okay, now we remove that yarn. And then we're gonna place the ball here. Now I'm gonna fill up with this stuffing again for the second time. I'm just using... Let's make sure you put it all the way to that place there, not the bottom. Because remember it needs to sit on a table or something. And you can always, you know, add some more. If you think you need more. Now find that one tail that you're gonna pull and just pull it tight. And now I'm going to just, just pull that every single one of these. See if, it's the, see if the stuffing is on the right place, if it doesn't need to come, I think this one looks better, it should come a bit higher, so it looks better as well. Oh, if you come up with a different idea, that's what it's looking like now. Just let me know in the comments below. I'll make a knot on the top here after I after I rearrange this stuffing because I want this to come more to the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how I made the leaves if you want. This is sort of what's looking like at the moment. I think it looks really cool actually. It sits really flat on the table as well. And then, so I'm gonna make another one of these. So guys, this is our pumpkin. I did, I did struggle a bit with the, with this yarn to make the shape of it. So if anyone has an advice for how to make it better, I don't know. It does have the shape of it. I, I, I had to add some stuffing after, and now I need to just finish off this with this yarn and put it all inside. That's the inside of it. And um, I did have another idea because um, the other day I bought these lights to actually use for knitting. It works like this. And then you just turn it on and you can knit with these on your neck. It's really cool, actually. And so um, I added these lights inside the pumpkin as well, which is really cool, actually. I had this idea. And um, just like this, just make sure the lights... And I'm gonna make a, a video for you guys how it looks at night because you can't really see right now because it's daylight. But you can use as a lamp as well. And you can use to put candies inside as well or whatever you feel like. 
So um, I'm just gonna finish these tails here. I made a knot on the top one, so after I cinched it, I made a knot in each one of them, very tight, so the pumpkin had the shape. And I kind of had to squeeze that that uh, stuffing inside as well to get the shape right. And then now I'm going to show you guys how I made this, the leaf as well. I'm going to put one leaf here and I'm going to add one more here. This is made out of crochet, so if you don't want to So I'm just going to quickly show you how I made this leaf as well, if you want to add the leaf. If you don't want to add the leaf, I don't think you need to, because it's quite cool already. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment to me, let me know if you made it and if you have any extra ideas to make this look better, but I think it looks really cool already. So to make this leaf, I'm using a little different yarn, it's a much thinner yarn, okay? And I'm using as well a 3 millimeters um, crochet hook. To start this leaf, I'm going to wrap around twice the yarn around my finger, put the hook underneath the first loop, grab the second, and then twist it this way, chain one to make that magic loop, magic ring, and then I'm going to single crochet 12 around the ring. Okay, after you chain 12, you can then close the ring. Slip stitch in that first stitch. Okay, so it's going to be a closed ring like this, and then chain one, two, and then you can double crochet one in that same stitch. So you're going to um, double crochet from here to in each stitch, so we should have 24 at the end. Slip stitch in that second chain. And then straight from here, we're going to skip one and double crochet seven in this same stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then we're going to skip one here and in the very next one single crochet. Made my so I have five here by now.
Now to finish it, just make single crochets all the way to that stem and finish it off with a slip stitch here. So I see you on the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed making this and it was a quite fast tutorial. It was it took me it took me a little longer because I was filming it, but probably it would take you around an hour to make, maximum two hours. And uh, it was very cheap as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and I see you next week. <laughs>